Hi everyone, Sean here from Cordistry.com. Today I'm going to show you how to play Wasn't Expecting That by Jamie Lawson. An awesome song. The songwriting is just incredible in this one. And I'm going to show you all the chords, chord progressions, and strum patterns in this lesson. Now, if you check the description, you're going to find a link to the chord chart. You can also sign up for my newsletter down there, and you'll find the link to the playthrough over on Patreon.com. So, let's check out how to play this tune. We're starting with a capo on fret 6, and we're in standard tuning today. Let's check out the chords that we're going to use for this song. So, we're going to use C, E minor, A minor, G, F, E7, G7, and D minor 7. So, C major goes like this. Your first finger is on fret 1 of the B string, your second finger is on fret 2 of the D string, and your third finger is on fret 3 of the A string. Strum the A to high E strings. E minor goes like this. Your second and third fingers are on fret 2 of the A and D strings. Strum all six strings. E7, since we're right here, goes like this. Your first finger now is on fret 1 of the G string, and your fourth finger now is on fret 3 of the B string. So just add those two to the E minor shape, and that's an E7. Okay, we also have A minor. A minor goes like this. Your first finger is on fret 1 of the B string. Your second finger is on fret 2 of the D string. And your third finger is on fret 2 of the G string. Strum the A to high E strings. Next up is G. G major goes like this. Your first finger is on fret 2 of the A string. Your second finger is on fret 3 of the low E string. And your third finger is on fret 3 of the B string. We're not going to play the high E string for this one. That's all we want to hear for this G today. So just let your third finger mute the high E string so you can strum all six strings. Let's do our G7 as well. Take your third finger, move it to the D string on the third fret and allow your fourth finger to have the note that your third finger was on, which was the third fret of the B string. So from low to high, it goes three, two, three, zero, three. Again, muting that high E string. Okay, now we have an F chord. F is going to go like this. Your first finger is on fret 1 of the B string. Your second finger is on fret 2 of the G string. Third finger on fret 3 of the D string. And third finger on fret 3 of the A string. So it's going to be 3, 3, 2, 1 on the A, D, G, and B strings. Have your thumb mute the low E string. Have your first finger mute the high E string. You can just strum all, string, all six strings that way. All right, now the last shape is our D minor seven shape. Your first finger is on fret five of the G string. One, two, three, four, five. And your third finger is gonna be on fret six of the B string. Now just strum the middle four strings like you did on the F shape. The A, D, G, and B strings. Got it? That's a D minor 7 shape, and that covers all the chords that we see in this song. So, let's start on the verse. Here's how it's going to sound, and then I'll break it down. So 
So that's the main chord progression for the verse. However, we're gonna play the first half of that as an intro. So let's just start there. And I'll show you the strum pattern quickly before we get to the chords because the strum pattern stays the same for most of this tune. So it's gonna go like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So the first down, down, up is the chord. And then we do down, up, down, up as just percussive strums. So for those last four, just take your hand and pull off the chord shape and allow your fingers to wrap on the strings. And you can just go like that. You can also use that time to switch your chord shape to the next position. So that's the strum pattern. It's just down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Like that. Okay, so we're gonna do C and E minor in the first measure. Then we do A minor and G. And then we do F to G. And then we do C, followed by a quick A minor G. So for that, we're doing down, down, up, down, down, up on each one of those chords. We're not doing percussive strums at the end of that measure because we have those two chords there. So that was the chord progression for the intro. Now we can move on and combine that with the next chord progression, and that's going to be the verse. Thankfully, it's very similar. We do it again. C, E minor, A minor, G, F, G, C. Now, instead of going A minor, G there, we're going to go just G, as if it was one of those chords from before. We're not speeding up the strumming or changing the strum pattern. We're just going to go at the end and go like this with the C. Like that. And that would be how the end of the whole verse section goes. So that would be one time through. We're actually going to do that two times through on the first verse. So what we do on the second time though is remove that last G. So it's just a C chord for that whole measure. Like that. And then we're into the chorus. So the chorus starts out on this D minor seven chord. D minor seven. E minor to E seven. And then we do F, G, and C. Then we go A minor, E minor, E7, F, G, G7. We're kind of adding another measure onto the end of that chorus. It pulls us back into the verse. So we're doing D minor 7, E minor to E7, and then F, G, C, and then A minor, E minor, E7, F, G, and G7. Those last three are going to be one measure each. So that was the chorus. Now let's go and think about what happens after that. We're going to go back to our verse and play it another time through. Not two times like the first verse, but just one time. Think of it as playing the second time through the first verse. That's going to be what the second verse is. So there's no extra 
G on the end. We're just hanging out on the C chord, moving on to the next chorus. And the following chorus works the same way. We're on D minor 7, E minor, E7, F, G, C. A minor, E minor, E7, F, G, G7. Alright, so that was the second chorus. After we do that, we're moving on to the bridge, but the first half of the bridge is sort of an instrumental using the first round of the verse. So think of the first time we did this first chord progression. It went like this. Actually, you're just gonna hang out on the C like you would do at the end. So excuse me there. We're just doing the C at the end. So this is the real bridge, not like the instrumental break, but here's the next section. We're gonna go like this. So it starts on a G chord, you go and then climb up one fret to G sharp. So on the fourth beat, we're going to go one, two, three, four, like that. Moving on to A minor for one measure. Then we do F and G in the third measure. followed by C. Go back to G. Climb up to G sharp, A minor, F, and then G, and then G7. That's gonna be the end of the bridge. Following that, we're going to do another verse, but this verse is going to be the whole first verse section. So two times through that big chord progression. And there's no chorus after that. We're actually finishing on a verse, which is interesting. We don't see that a lot, and that's really, really good songwriting. The end of this verse is the twist, and then we're just left there, right? Because the, the whole song is sort of like a refrain, which gives it that character where we can just end on the verse section. So I'm not going to play that again. You know how that goes. You can watch the playthrough if you need to see the whole song from beginning to end. And you can find that link in the description. Don't forget you can also see the chord chart down there. And you can sign up for my newsletter too. All right, so that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, you can hit that like button and share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that too so you can get more lessons just like this one in your subscription box. My name is Sean. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time in another lesson.